Hi, for this video, I will show you how to install and configure PFSense. PFSense is a free network firewall distribution based on the free BSD operating system. We can use PFSense as a firewall and router. And we can easily manage that using our web interface. For more information about PFSense, you can visit the official website at www.pfsense.org. This series of videos will cover how to install PFSense, how to block HTTP and HTTPS website, how to filter web browsing. So if you want to block bad sites like porn sites and restrict downloads, torrents, so one of our video will cover this for you. Then how to set up a captive portal. So if you want to authenticate a user before giving them access to the internet, this captive portal will be useful. Let me introduce myself. My name is Noriel and this is my blog. I am a super user at blogspot.com. Here in my blog, I already posted some basic tutorial and guides about PFSense and other IT stuff. So let's start. So to install PFSense, the first thing you need to do is to download and burn the PFSense installer. So in my blog, I already posted here on how and where to download the PFSense installer and how to burn it. Once you have done that, once you finish downloading and burning the PFSense installer, now we are ready to boot our PFSense. So let's start. Let's install our PFSense. So the first screen that you will see upon booting up your PFSense is the welcome screen. Then we select the option 1 to boot from our installer. Next, we should press I on our keyboard to launch the installer. Then accept these settings. Quick easy install. OK. You have to wait for a while for this part. Select standard kernel. and reboot. <clears throat> so our default username is admin and our default password is pfsense. You'll need that later. So once you done rebooting your system, your pfsense, you have to remove the installation or the installer, the pfsense installer, and then boot your pfsense again. Select the first option. This time we need to configure our network interfaces. So as you can see, I have two network interface installed on my setup and PFSense recognize it as EM0 and EM1. So depending on your machine, on your setup, on your hardware specification. So PFSense may recognize this as a different name. So it could be FM1 or EM or FM2. So depending on your hardware. As for me, PFSense recognize it as EM0 and EM1. Now we want to set up VLAN. No, we don't want that for now. 
so we should say no type n and now we should enter a one interface name so just select if it is the em0 or em1 so i should select em0 for my one interface then for my lan interface it should be the em1 for the optional interface since i just have two network interface here so i have to hit enter here leave it blank and hit enter then verify if all is correct one em0 lan em1 yes it is correct so i will say yes okay so it is done so as you can see i have the one interface here as em0 and lan interface as em1 so my one interface have the ip of 192.168.1.27 and i got this automatically from my isp or my internet service provider and for my lan interface the em1 I have the IP of 192.168.1.1. This IP is the default IP of every fresh installed PFSense. So you can change that later, anytime. But as for me, I just want to leave the default IP for my LAN interface. So you need to remember this LAN IP, the 192.168.1.1. You will need that later when we configure our pfSense via web GUI. So that's it for now. So next video will be the configuration of pfSense via web GUI. See you on our next video.